Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stay in alignment all day, every day, so that you can start to see your manifestations come into your 3D reality the way that you want them to come to you. And very quickly, very effortlessly, you're gonna be able to see changes immediately. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the video. The number one thing I want you to understand is that how you identify yourself when it comes to being a person who can manifest things fairly quickly. Now, I don't know about you, but there was a time in my life where I really didn't feel like any of the techniques that I was using was working. I did not feel like the content that I was watching on YouTube was helping me. But what I did begin to realize is that it's not really about YouTube. It's not really about, oh, a technique. It's really about me. It's about when I wake up in the morning, how am I showing up for myself? Am I saying things that are in alignment with the identity of the person who has hella money in the bank or has the love of their life? Or am I saying things that are going against the thing that I desire to have? So we have to make sure that we are identifying ourselves, showing up with the self-concept of a person who has their desires. Case in point, if you're manifesting a new car, are you walking around complaining about the car that you already have? Are you taking the bus and complaining about the fact that you have to take the bus? Or are you living in your imagination when you wake up and thinking about all the things, all the reasons why you are thankful now for having the car? You do realize that as soon as you have a desire, it becomes yours in the 4D. The only thing you have to do is to find a way all day, every day to stay in alignment. What about doing this intentionally? Like if you had to go to work for eight hours, are you going to be able in those eight hours to also affirm in your head? Most likely not. Most likely at your job, you're to focus on other things that you're doing. So here's how you're going to be able to stay in alignment all day, every day, no matter what other obligations you have, so that you can saturate your mind really quickly, effortlessly, and to start to see results happen for you now, like insanely fast, okay? Number one, this is going to change your life. And I don't know why more people don't do this. Put a reminder in your phone. If you know you're going on your lunch break, if you know that you're on your day off and you have time, set a timer every 45 minutes to remind you to recenter yourself, refocus yourself. If you spent 20 minutes thinking negatively about something and then your reminder goes off in your phone to check in with yourself, then guess what you're going to do? You know what? The last 20 minutes, I was a little bit on the, the pessimistic side. Let me take 20 minutes or so to recenter re myself when it comes to maybe listening to some music. Maybe take 20 minutes to recenter yourself by putting on a podcast, a positive message from one of your favorite podcasters. This is how you're going to be able to stay in alignment all day, every day, because you're going to have reminders, things that are going to remind you, hey, it's important for me to keep my focus on being, not thinking from, oh, maybe it'll be mine. No, from being the person who already has that desire. And there are times when we get off track, meaning that sometimes people just do stuff to you. You could be driving in traffic and somebody cuts you off and boom, now you're out of alignment. But if that reminder in your phone goes off, Two minutes after somebody cut you off, bam, you're right back in alignment. It's going to refocus you, recenter you. All right, so test this out for yourself. Don't say I didn't tell you something that's going to bless your life. I'm telling you, this is a game changer. Not only that, if you want to take it a step further, you could take your wallet and put little reminders in your wallet. So whenever you go and take your money out, you can have a reminder that says, I'm so blessed, money comes to me effortlessly. Put your affirmations on little cards and clip them up and put them in places throughout the day that you know you're gonna be going often so that you can see constant reminders of staying in alignment. Not only that, it actually does help you to saturate your subconscious mind as well, all right? So that's one thing I would say to stay in alignment all day, every day is the reminders. Now, the next thing I want you guys to do is 
and this is something that I tell my clients to do as well, create a music playlist that will help you raise your vibration and get yourself right back into alignment with a person who is focused on living in the end result. My, my playlist is usually 90s R&B. So whenever I start to get annoyed with anything, whenever I feel like, damn, my life is kind of like a little bit topsy-turvy right now, that happens every now and again with most of us where we just feel like things are not going the way we want them to. Nothing puts me back into alignment with my desired reality like a good 90s playlist. And when I listen to that 90s playlist, I remember who I am. It's a signal to my subconscious mind that you are already living in your desired reality because I've assumed that when I listen to really good music, that that is my cue to refocus myself into the desired reality or to focus my energy and my thoughts on the desired reality. Now, if you find yourself frustrated throughout the day, because remember, you don't have to have a high vibration to manifest. However, who wants to cry in a Porsche? Okay? Nobody wants to have all of the things that they desire to have and then be depressed. I know you don't. And so even though we can manifest beautiful, amazing things while being frustrated, having anxiety, the goal is always to find your happiness. The goal is always to recenter yourself back to joy. I know a lot in the Law of Assumption community, um, people don't really like to talk about frequency, vibrations, and um, all those things because it makes it seem too Law of Attraction-esque. But the truth is, is that we are energetic beings. This is a scientific fact. We are immunating energy and frequencies. And so you do want to do your best to stay in a space of love, openness, and receiving all of your beautiful things. So if you find yourself frustrated throughout the day, and it's hard for you to like get yourself back into alignment and feeling joyous about your manifestations, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your finger, whichever your pointer finger, and I want you to put it in the center of your palm, right here. And take your thumb, and I want you to press you can press this way. Hold this for 30 seconds. Breathe in deeply. This is a pressure point that's going to not only help you recenter, refocus, it's going to calm you down. If you have a headache or if you're just feeling really anxious, it's going to immediately send a signal to your nervous system to calm down. And when you're calm, you can take stock of your feelings and you can redirect your feelings back to the present moment. And in the present moment is where you create. You create in the present. How much can you stay present in your life? If you can stay present or recenter yourself back, you will find less and less times where you're being distracted away from taking inspired action towards your manifestations or just being in the mind space where like, damn, things are going really well. This is how you're going to stay in alignment all day, every day. You're going to make sure that you identify yourself as the person who already has their desire, saying the things that they would be saying. I did a video yesterday about persisting. So I want you guys to check that out. I'll, I'll link it up here somewhere. That video was really letting you know that no matter what's going on in your life, you still get to decide how you react to your reality. And so we're not reacting to the reality that we don't want anymore. We're, we're not doing that over here, not over on Fly Girl Manifested channel. Some other people will tell you some other things, but over here, I'm going to tell you the truth is that you have control over your thoughts and your thoughts are going to lead you to feeling things. And those feelings are going to either be in alignment with your desired reality or they're not. So which one, which side do you want to be on? The side where you're constantly able to shift yourself back into alignment by doing these simple things that I just told you to do. Listening to music will get you right back on track or listening to something positive will get you right back on track. Setting reminders around your house or your home or in your car. Random reminders throughout the day when you go to a place that you commonly go to, it'll get you right back on track. And putting reminders in your phone. This is this is something that becomes natural for you to do until you feel like, OK, my life is in control based on my thoughts, based on my words, based on my feelings. I have control over those things. 
I really intend that this video has blessed you. I intend that you're going to take the things that I said in this video and you're going to implement them. And let me know down in the comments if this is working for you, if there's something that you would like to use. I love to read your comments. Just so you know, my channel is coming up on about 30K very soon. And I will be doing a giveaway, a really big giveaway on the channel. You have to be subscribed to the channel. And um, yeah, that's really all. Just uh, a person who comments on the channel because I'm going to be picking through the comments. But I'll give you guys more details on that. But yeah, I want to do something really special for the 30K that is right around the corner pretty much. So I love you guys. Talk to you later. Have a beautiful day wherever you are. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.